Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2020 Toyota Sienna LE. Now the most notable features on this LE is its power sliding rear doors, heated front seats, and backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2020 Toyota Sienna LE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this LE is its daytime running lights and then if we take a closer look just over on the side you have your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your foldable mirrors, heated mirrors and I'm just going to quickly show you just what the second row looks like so as you can see you have your power sliding rear doors and taking a look at the seats here as you can see, you have three additional seats. The nice thing with that middle seat is that you can actually have it removed and placed in the rear cargo storage area, which I'll show you a little bit later on here. Third and second row window visors, just so you can block out some of that sun just when you're going on those long trips. And you'll find the close button just located on the inside of the pillar here now. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will close for you automatically. Now, as you can see, it does have the jam protection feature. So in the event that the door does, since there's an obstruction in the way, it'll open itself back up automatically. And all you have to do if you just want to close it from the outside is just pull on the handle once more and it will close automatically for you. Now the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white and taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats. You have your cloth interior power driver seat with lumbar support. Traction control on and off. You have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and wood controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, seek function, mode select. You also have your voice recognition, Bluetooth connectivity, lane departure alert, cruise control. And then if we take a closer look just at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So taking a closer look at this, you can have your digital speedometer with a distance to empty fuel economy. You can also go through your audio, lane departure alert, messages, and settings menu, which offers you your ECT power, pre-collision system, lane departure alert, and a couple of other additional features as well. It has an exterior temperature gauge, and then taking a look at the center dash area, if you go inside the menu screen, you'll find your audio phone apps as well as a couple of other additional features. Now with the apps menu, it's part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Scout GPS app, which allows you to stream your maps from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. Now you also have the Sirius XM satellite radio, dual zone climate control settings with your rear temperature controls located down below. Matted to an automatic transmission, heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, USB and auxiliary input, and your power outlets. Now, taking a look up top, you have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated garage door opener and your digital compass. Power sliding rear doors, controls just located at the top with the SOS Connect and sunglass case holder. Taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, as you can see, just located on the back, you're going to find your backup camera and the rear hatch release just located underneath. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you do have a 60-40 split for the rear seat. So in the event that you need additional space, it is available to you. Now, as I was saying, uh, sorry, saying in the earlier part of the video, if you take out that middle seat from the second row, you can have it stored just located on the left-hand side here. If you are using it, then you can just use it as additional cargo space. Now, if you're not sure how the seats fold or unfold, the instructions are located just on the back of the seat. But even with that 40 side down, you still have plenty of cargo space located down below. Over on the right-hand side, you'll find that power outlet. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. 
Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.